Hi everyone, this is Bobby from bn-games.com and we're doing a video. Um, this is a FAQ, frequently asked questions about the Wii U in regards to Wii emulation and the Wii uh, Virtual Console. So a couple things we want to need to go over. Uh, first of all, the Wii is emulated on the Wii U. Um, so when you start up your Wii U, you have to select the Wii menu, uh, as you can see above here. And this will take you into an emulated Wii console, which will then allow you to play um, Wii games and virtual console games from the Wii Shop channel. It will go through a little quick uh, load, and it goes to a familiar screen if you own a Wii. Uh, in this mode, you need a Wii Wiimote. Um, the Wii Wiimote is required just as it was with the original Wii. Now, a couple things we need to also clarify. The eShop channel is different than the Wii Shop channel. The eShop channel on the Wii U is only for Wii U related content from the Wii U um, operating system, uh, from that side of the console. The Wii Shop channel is just the same channel that was used on the original Wii hardware to purchase Wii, uh, WiiWare titles um, and all your emulated games from all your classic consoles. A uh, common question I get, and probably the most common one, um, is in regards to the gamepad and the virtual console. I need to make this very clear. The Wii Virtual Console does not use the Wii U gamepad. In fact, when you start up the Wii um, emulation, it requires the Wii mode, as I've already, um, I've already mentioned. And since the Wii U does not have GameCube ports, you are limited to using the Wii Mote, Wii Mote Nunchuck combination or the Wii Classic Controller, Classic Controller Pro, depending on which one you have. So any virtual console game, any Wii title, so any Wii titles that once supported GameCube, um, game, GameCube controllers will not work here. So you have to have a Wiimote, Wiimote nunchuck combination, or a Wiimote with the Classic Controller plugged into it. Uh, the Classic Controller for most video games, most virtual console games, uh, are, is going to be the best option, for the most part. As you can see here, I'm using the Wii Shop channel and I'm going to make a purchase. So, any virtual console items that you want to purchase will s still remain in this store. It doesn't look, as of this recording, like Nintendo is going to move any of this to the eShop channel. So, for the time being, if you want to play any virtual console games, buy any per virtual console games, it is absolutely necessary to buy them from the Wii Shop channel, not the e not the eShop channel on the Wii U side. It's very confusing, I understand, and that's why we're doing this video. Um, another thing to mention, the Wii storage is the original 512 megabytes that was dedicated on the original hardware, um, and then this can be expanded with the SD card slot, which is in front of the console, just like the Wii had. Uh, it does not take advantage of the additional storage space from the Wii U, so even if you have the 32 gigabyte model uh, deluxe uh, version of the Wii U, it is not going to be any different than the basic model. So if you were thinking you're going to be able to buy a ton of virtual console games without an SD card expansion, unfortunately that is not the case. Uh, and as you can see here, I've purchased the Last Blade 2, which was an excellent Neo Geo fighter, and um, I bought it on the Wii U through the Wii emulation on the Wii Shop channel. So if you really want to get down to it, you can have an exhibit moment exhibit moment, uh, you're emulating while you emulate. So emulate while you emulate so you can play your games while you play your games. I know that's pretty bad. So what it comes down to is you, the virtual console will only remain on the Wii emulation and you can only play the games um, on the Wii side and buy them on the Wii side. The other thing that this has, if you had a Wii, there is a Wii System Transfer Manager. We're not going to go through all the steps here, but basically what it comes down to is you will it re will require that you keep your original Wii, and there's a little download system which allows you to transfer all of your purchases from that are on your original Wii to your Wii U Wii emulation. I know it gets confusing. Um, with this application, as you can see here, it shows all the things that will c come over with the system transfer. <clears throat> Please bear in mind, if you sold your Wii, do not have your Wii anymore, if you had a Wii at one time and made some purchases, you cannot recover those, um, those purchases, saves, or anything of that nature. That will not cross over. So as you can see here, you need an internet connection for both consoles, and then you'll have to download the transfer tool, and the system transfer manager is already on the Wii U console. So, 
if you have an original Wii, you can bring those um, items over, and you can see once the data is transferred, it is lost from the original Wii, and that Wii, therefore, is sterile. Your All that data and purchases are removed completely. So I hope this answers your questions. Um, these are the most common questions I have been a answering on my YouTube videos uh, concerning the Wii U. The Virtual Console is nice that it was transferred over but it does have its limitations and unfortunately the gamepad will not be supported by Wii titles or Wii Virtual Console titles. We'll just have to learn to live with that. If you have any questions please put them below. Please subscribe and let me know what you think. Thank you.